All right, welcome back everybody to the PTZ Optics Computer Programming for Robotic Camera Control course. In this video, we're going to be talking about camera control basics. Let's get into it. First of all, camera control basics. Today, we're going to be talking about IP camera control, which happens over an ethernet connection to our robotic camera and our computer, which is also connected to the same local area network. Now the computer programming documentation, I highly suggest printing it out. We're on chapter two right now, and we're about to get into some of the computer programming languages, but first let's cover some of the basics. Camera setup video. There is a setup video for your camera. It will step you through all the processes that you need to know, getting it out of the box, plugged into your network with a static IP address, which is a unique way to connect to your camera. It's almost like having a postal address uh, for your home that you can send mail to. Well, cameras and on an ethernet IP network has a IP address. That is how we send commands to the camera. And we'll be talking about HTTP and CGI commands, which can be executed through a multiple of uh, programming languages, numerous programming languages, which is include Node.js, JavaScript, Python, C, C++, and Visual Basic. So with that being said, I want to dig into what the HTTP CGI command list is, where you can find it. You can get it at ptzoptics.com slash downloads. And I wanted to kind of break down, I'm going to write it up on the board, how you can start thinking about these HTTP commands and how you can send them directly to a PTZ Optics camera. So let me go over my whiteboard here. So it starts with HTTP, almost as if you were typing in a HTTP address into a web browser. So this is our CGI slash, you know, HTTP command. And what we're going to do, we're going to start it with HTTP colon slash slash the camera's IP address. So I'm just going to type numbers here. I'm going to put 192 dot one six eight dot one dot sixty that's an actual camera in this building then there is a control a string of of numbers that actually and letters that represent a connection to the camera and we see it's cgi dash bin that's a directory of which we're calling to and there's there's some more stuff doesn't really matter exactly it's all written in the documentation slash an action Okay, so this is a variable. So the action can be multiple actions. And then we have an and, really bad at drawing these, looks a little bit like that. Another variable, which in this case is speed. So this action is going to be optical zoom. So this action can be either zoom in zoom out or zoom stop. So you can create a command by inserting an action and a variable. Now this additional variable for speed has a range of one through seven. So how does all of this work? Let's take a step back for a second. So we've got all this written down. It's in the documentation. You'll find an entire list of HTTP and CGI commands, but let's just take one step back. How does all of this, how do we even issue a command of that nature? Well, we're gonna be going over quite a few different programming languages that can easily issue an HTTP command such as that nature, but let's take a step back. On your network, you have a router. And your router may have a built-in network switch, but for this scenario, we're going to see if you actually have a, a separate network switch. In fact, we'll say that this is a power over Ethernet network switch. Okay. So this network switch allows you to connect multiple devices over Ethernet, and our robotic camera is going to be one of them. So this robotic camera here has an IP address of 192, just like our example, 168.1.60. Our router actually has an IP address too. This is generally 192.168.1.1, the very first IP address. In fact, the whole network 
is 192.168.1.0. That's like the network. This is the very first device, the router. And then you have other devices like your computer. So here's your computer over here. This is what we're doing all of our programming on over here. And your computer's actually got an IP address as well. It might be 192.168.1.0. 94. Okay. So your computer sends the HTTP command over Ethernet directly to the camera. And the amazing thing is it happens almost instantaneously. There's almost no latency. So that's how the HTTP commands are traveling over a local area network. This opens up so many possibilities. Networks in a university or a major corporation can span the globe. You could literally have an outside IP address which we're probably not even going to cover in this, in this course, but you could control a camera almost anywhere in the world if it had an outside IP address. This is a local area network. Let me get my black marker for this. This is a, this whole thing here is a local area network. Can we zoom up just a hair? Maybe zoom out just a hair. This is our local area network, our LAN. We'll be learning about that in this course. Outside of the router, when we hit YouTube or Facebook or anything like that, this is all out here. Anything, any website, anywhere. That's the wide area network, the WAN. We're going to be working in the LAN, your local area network. But when the world of networking starts to work, there's a, quite a few bits of possibilities. So I just wanted to give you that overview there. All right. So from here, I'm going to roll a quick tutorial video. It's going to explain what you need to know about camera control basics, and we'll go from there. In this course, we will review various programming languages used to communicate with robotic PTZ cameras. Using multiple programming languages, we will be able to use core HTTP and CGI commands that are issued over an IP internet protocol network. Each camera that we issue commands to will require a unique IP address that is used to identify the device on your LAN or local area network. An IP address is used like a street address you use to send mail from one location to another. We will use the camera's IP address to specify which camera we would like to send our HTTP CGI commands to inside our applications. The HTTP CGI command set is a list of known robotic functions that can contain variables we can use for precision control of our robotic cameras. For example, we may issue a function to initiate an optical zoom movement with a variable to represent the speed at which the robotics will operate. Let's look at this example. We have HTTP colon slash slash the camera's IP address, a function, an action, and a zoom speed. In this example, we have a function to operate the camera zoom. As you can see, there are three variables inserted into the HTTP command. We have the camera's IP address, a variable for the action, and a variable for the zoom speed. This specific action has three options, which could either be zoom in, zoom out, or zoom stop. The zoom speed variable has a range of one through seven. Using the PTZ Optics HTTP CGI control sheet, we can quickly build custom PTZ camera commands for our programs. With your camera's IP address and the HTTP CGI control sheet found at ptzoptics.com downloads, we can start to create computer programs customized for the type of robotic controls our unique projects will require. To use IP communications, you will need to have an IP network set up. Your network will need to be connected to both your computer and the PTZ Optics camera. Basic networking knowledge is required and briefly reviewed throughout this course. For more information regarding IP networking and setup, you can visit ptzoptics.com IP. We highly recommend watching your camera setup video before moving forward with this course. This short video will walk you through the necessary steps you need to take for proper camera setup. This video, along with a basic network setup video, 
will be included in the online course. Okay, let's get started with our introduction to HTML. All right, guys, we're back. I hope you enjoyed that video that goes over the basics of PTZ Optics robotic IP camera control. In our next video, we'll start to look at HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. See you in the next video.